I'm Martin and you're watching Living Well TV. In this video today, we're going to be seeing which is the better option, the dumbbell chest flight or the cable crossover. Okay, so keep watching and find out. Okay, so which is better? The standard uh, dumbbell fly or the cable crossover or cable fly? Okay, so I'll start with the dumbbell fly. So the dumbbell fly starts in this position here. We start in the position here. So again, uh, as I've said before, with the, the bench press or chest press, you arch your back here and you push your shoulder blades into the bench, keep them solid. Now you start the position is here, or it can be here, you can come up this way. I just prefer to start in the centre, either way is okay. And from here, keep the dumbbells above your chest, and you're lowering down, and as you come down, you keep the arms just slightly bent, okay? Now, don't come down any further than, uh, than this, okay? If you come down any further, you start feeling the stretch in your shoulders, and then you're going to end up with a shoulder injury. So keep it level with your chest. Arms slightly bent, and coming back up to the top. Now what you don't want to do, is turn your fly into a chest press. So this is what I see a lot of people doing. Almost turning up that, that fly movement into a chest press movement. Okay, you want to go sit in that chest, coming down to the side, and back up to the top. Okay, and that is the dumbbell fly. Just move this bench out of the way. So the next is the cable crossover cable fly. So you have a high position and you have these D handles here. Okay, so you want to be out to the front here and then step forward. Okay, keep that leg nice and rigid there, lean forward. Okay, bring them down to the front there, okay, and you're bringing these down to the front, across your chest here, and back up to the top, just there, again, don't let them pull them too far back, okay, just here, so pull them down, and back up to the top here, as you come down, you squeeze the chest, and back up, come down, squeeze, all the time, keeping a nice steady movement, nice steady breathing, back nice and straight, okay? And as you notice, I've got a very slight bend in my arm, not too, you're not locked out, but also you don't want to have them again, turning this into a chest press, okay? Where you see people with their arms way too bent, okay? And you may just be doing a chest press movement, okay? So arms slightly bent, coming up, pulling down to the bottom position there, and squeezing that chest muscle coming back up. Okay, so which one works the chest the best? Okay, now I'll go over to the dumbbell uh, dumbbell fly. And the problem with the dumbbell fly, got a lot more chance of injury. So when you're coming down to this position, okay, a lot of people do come too far, but also it's putting a lot of stress on the shoulder joint. And people say you get an extra stretch out of it. The problem is that extra stretch is coming in the arm, not the pectoral muscles. Okay, so as soon as you come any lower, you're putting a lot of stress on that shoulder. And I've seen a lot of people tear their shoulder or rotate the cuff when doing a really heavy dumbbell fly. Secondly, so a dumbbell fly, uh, so in a lying down motion, I can just, oh, I'll show you. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so from here, so you can put the bench back over to show you. So, really, dumbbells are here, your triceps and shoulders are doing the wall work just to stabilise the muscle to stop gravity, okay? So you, I can only start feeling my chest around up at this position to here, then I really feel the chest working, and as soon as I get to here, the chest stops working here, and then my triceps and shoulders take over just to stabilise the barbells at the top, because it's stopping gravity pushing them down, okay? So th that's the problem with the dumbbell fly. <laughs> Is you're more prone to injury if you don't do them properly, and also they don't work you for the full range of movement. 
However, with a, um, a cable machine, okay, so when you step forward with the cable, the cables keep the tension right away through the full range of motion, all the way to the bottom, all the way back up again. So that the pectorals get a much better workout with a full range of movement. So the winner for me is the cable crossover. Don't get me wrong, you can still build good muscle using the dumbbell fly, you can mix it in now and again, but if you're looking for that full range of motion to work the pectoral muscles, the most efficiently is the cable crossover. I don't normally advocate the cables or the dumbbells, but in this case, I think the cables win out. Okay, thanks for watching today. I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos. We post videos every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.